Hello everybody, it's me Sam here on Torrent for Rupert Gaming and today we're going to be showing you how to use and install the Mob Arena plugin for Bucket by Garbage Mule, Dasbreen and Slipcore. So Dan, what does this plugin do? Well, as the name suggests, it gives you a Mob Arena. Uh, this is a really old plugin, this has been around for ages, hasn't it? Yeah, it's a couple of years now maybe. Yeah, and everyone knows what it is. Uh, you spawn an arena, it spawns waves and waves and waves upon mobs progressively getting harder on every level. You can team up with your friends and uh well see how far you can get really. Yeah, so it's been a while since we did a uh showcase on this. So we're gonna just have that updated view on the plugin and uh show you how to use and install it. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is to create a arena. Uh we've created one here. It's just a basic sand one. Obviously you can make it a bit more exciting, have like traps and stuff. Yeah. But uh, we just kept it simple. Um, so the first thing we want to do is create a lobby. So here's our lobby in this room here. Let's uh, make sure people, people can't escape. So here's our lobby, and in the lobby we just want an iron block. And this will be the ready up block in game. So let's just stick one there. That should be fun. And um, we also want to put signs as well for all the uh, classes. So there'll be classes in this mod or plugin. Uh, these are configurable in the config uh, and then you can have a sign with every class uh, on the wall so you'd like to do that on the wall there while I explain how to yeah I'll, the find arena. Some, I'll find some signs give me a sec okay okay so now we're going to set up the, the whole arena so first thing you want to do is set the arena region so the way we do this is select two points from two corners just like we were using like world edit or another protection plugin uh, we can just stick the select one corner and the other corner and it will have the entire region uh, done. So we're going to select the first corner, so this red block here. We're just going to look at it and type in MA set region P1. And that will set the region point for the arena default as we haven't specified a, a re, uh, arena yet, but this is the default arena. And someone destroyed my nice little hub I made earlier. Oh, sorry, I thought that was, um, I thought that wasn't intentional. That's right. And then to set the next point, MA set region P2. And that's the second point. Now, as we see there, we've just selected the two corners of the uh, arena, and it will create the region as, as so. Uh, we can then just show what we've done by doing MA show region. And what that'll do, we put a nice red box around the region uh, and it'll change well, back to that, as you can see there, uh, the size of the arena. Okay. So we can see uh, where the region is. So that, that's fine because that fits just around our region. Okay, great. Uh, we can also expand the region if we wanted to. So we can, let's expand it down a bit, um, just to show you how to do that. Just do simply MA expand region the amount, so say one, and then you can either up, down, or out, and this will expand it up, down, or out is either north, south, east, or west, um, and then you can choose it, and then we can just type in down, and then we expanded it down one block. So if we do show region again. You can't actually see that, but it is one block lower than it was. Okay, great. Uh, what else have we got to do? So now that's the uh, region done. We won't be able to edit this uh, directly. So to edit it, all we simply do is just do MA edit arena and then the arena name. So by its default. And true or false. So we can now edit it if we set to true. And then when we're done editing, we set false. So you won't be able to destroy any blocks. Well, I can because I'm up. But um, anything in the region will not be able to uh, edit or destroy. So if you want to do that, all you have to simply do is just turn it on and off. Now we can do the warp points. So these are where the uh, players will spawn in, or the spectator will lobby. So let's do the spawn points first. So let's just 
Let's make the spawn a nice little square here. So let's stand here and just type, simply type in MA set warp arena. And there we go. Uh, and then we can type in here, this will be our spectator. So MA set warp spectator. And finally we have the MA lobby. So we'll just put it here. MA set warp lobby. Cheers. And what you've noticed is it's also saying MA check data to see if we're missing anything. So let's just do that now just to see what it does. And as you can see, it's just saying we're missing spawn points. Uh, what it means by spawn points is the bob, uh, bob, the mob spawn points. So that's what we we'll move on to next. So now we can specify where the mob spawn from. Uh, let's have a different block to show that. Let's have a pink wall. Why not? What we'll have on here? If we stand where it is and type in ma add spawn s1, we can uh, change these names however we like. So we're just going to have S1 and let's just have S2. And uh, we'll have one in this corner. And we'll have one over here. And we can also add one just here to show you S4. But say we didn't want one, all we have to do is simply do MA, Del Spawn, and then the name to S4. And uh, that will remove the spawn point for you. So we've added three spawn points. We've added our player spawn point. We've got the region done. Uh, one last thing, which is uh, not on the check data. So it says arena ready to be used, but we can actually also add refillable containers such as uh, furnaces, chests, and dispensers. So that what these will do, well, they'll re refill themselves after every game. So I've got one chest here just to demonstrate this. It has a diamond sword in. So all we have to do is look at it and type in MA add container. And I'll call it just chest. And there we go, we've added the chest to the arena. Uh, and so. So now we've created our arena. Everything's set up. Do MA check day so you can see the arena is ready to be used. So that's great. Okay, so let's give this a go and uh, actually play a game. So we like to join the game with MA MAJ. Ah, excellent. And it should teleport us to the lobby. Yep. And now we can choose our classes. So you set up these classes. I would hope so. You hope so. Ah, yeah, that's right. Okay, so good. <laughs> you just simply just put the name on the thing. So we've got Tank, Knight, Archer, Oddjob, and Chef. Uh, what have you chosen? I've gone for Knight, so I think you should go for Oddjob just because it sounds funny. Job. Okay. <laughs> well, I got, uh, oh, don't don't put that fire anywhere in it. <laughs> I don't trust you, TNT, sir. So. so okay. So then, yeah, just when you're ready, the and you'll be flagged. And there we go. Oh no. So we've been flagged as ready, and then when it's everyone ready, it'll join the game, and uh, the mobs will start spawning. Let's go. Let's go. Good job. Good job. So at, at the first shot, sort of waves. That'd be fairly um, standard. Oh, uh, there's a wolf. I can't kill a wolf. A wolf? Why not? too cool. There we go. What's this? Potion of healing. If you need a potion oh, of healing, I've, I've, I've already got three on you. Ah, we both get Oh, them. right. Let's bait a creeper and get him to uh, kill all his mates. Okay. Well, that was close. <laughs> oh. That was me. Not. <laughs> right, good job. Oh no, don't waste them all at once. Oh, blimey. Oh, I need help. <laughs> oh, that was rubbish. <laughs> oh. Stop blowing you out What's the way What's going on? This is only, what, wave five? Oh, uh, I've died already. <laughs> oh yes, I'm distracted. That's a great idea. I'm, I'm, I'm over here. I'm a, oh, don't you want me? I'm so good at it. You're just stuff, basically. I'm watching you, don't worry. Oh, no. 
It's not looking good. No, it's not, but I can do this. There's a slime behind you. There's wave seven. Uh, no, uh, no. No. Reward. Uh, there's a reward of a storage minecart. That might just keep me going. <laughs> oh, no. Damn it. Ah, uh, no. So there we go. That's still, how the arena again, works. We're pretty shocking at that. I'm doing it again. I'm going to choose. I'm going to choose tank. Keys? Choose tank. Yeah. That's his chef. <laughs> You have so much food. We are we both being tanks. Oh yeah, are we Archer? Oh, on. That's a good idea. Alright, so now if we look have at the chest. Have you got a dog or is he just sitting there? Huh? You got a dog. The uh yeah, I've got a dog. Go dog go. So now if you look in the chest, the uh Diamond Sword is still there. So we we will we feel every single time. I I think I'm gonna oh, grab it. Oh, it's gonna be better. Now I tank with diamond sword. Much better. Yeah. Nice. A bit OP. Who cares? There we go. Right. Ah! That was a spider jockey then. Oh wow, well, your dog's gone hostile on me. It's not good. Not this time. Right, don't don't die like last time. Okay, well, at least the special this time is a bit easier to deal with. <laughs> yeah, if you can reach them. I'm terrible. Oh, aiming. there's more. I thought there's only one. Okay, I'll take, I'll, I'll take my words back. Oh, now, now no, I'm on I'm fire. No, What's no, this? no, right. Potion of healing. Oh, oh. Uh, that Turtles. was really close. Sam, there's, there's a <laughs> huge. I just wasted all my healing just to. Really? Because I was about to die on fire. Oh, that's not good. Oh. Oh, this one. Is my dog attacking you? Uh, no, he just seems to be sniffing my feet, though. <laughs> right. These... Oh, these slimes. There's so many of them. They only take one hit. I'm gonna pick up all these arrows they've dropped. Oh, oh. Oh. We also noticed that we are getting uh, rewards and stuff for each wave. Yes, there's... Oh, so, uh, good figure, practically they're all the rewards. Rewards. That's good. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, Dan. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Dan. Flipping it. Oh no, I think I'm dead. Oh, uh, uh, I'll be back to the ground, I'm so dead. Ah. Oh, damn it. You, you, you yeah, die. that's all I want to use, Sam. Wave mm. 9. Oh. <laughs> this is not looking good, I've only got a... <laughs> Wooden sword, oh no. Sorry, I got, I got a reward as a bird. Uh, <laughs> and I'm dead. Damn it. Oh well. Ah, so, obviously, we've demonstrated that to the best of its ability. <laughs> um, yeah. Most people will get past, say, two. Well, we've got to wait nine. nine. It's not fair. No, we're not very good. <laughs> but uh, you get the gist of how to play it. And you can see with more players and uh, a nicer map than just sand, yeah. it could be more interesting. Yeah, so, someone who actually called um, map. <laughs> Yeah. Good. So when we're done, we just do MA leave, and it'll teleport us back with our inventories as so. Let's just do time day. Oh, you've already done it. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so let's go over any other commands uh, with the plugin, like the player commands. Uh, the player commands, obviously, as you said, there's a slash MA join, uh, slash MA leave. Uh, they're the standard ones you'd expect from uh, yeah. for joining. You can do uh, slash MA uh, not ready, which gets a list of. Uh, well, you need to be in the arena first to do that, but I guess a list of people who aren't ready. So if you've got people who are in the arena but aren't ready, you can uh, find a list of them and yell at them for not being ready. Yeah, ready up, ready <laughs> yeah. up. Um, a nice one is MA spectate, which will allow you to uh, spectate uh, the arena. It will obviously, if only one exists, as you are doing there, so you can have a nice little, uh, little spectate. Yep. Uh, you can do slash MA arenas, which gets the list of all the arenas. Uh, green names are enabled and grey names are disabled. So if we do the one for uh, this one, you should see uh, default is a uh, nice name, default. It's in green. You can do MA players, which gets the list of all the arena players. But as it stands, there's not going to be anyone in there at the moment. Apart from Sam, maybe. And you can no, refine that by doing MA players and then a specific arena. So in our case, it'll be uh, MA players default. But of course, there's no live players. So. Indeed. Yeah. Um, um, onto admin commands. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you can do slash ma yeah. enable, which uh, simply just enables mob arena. 
Um, you can do the alias that MA disable, which disables mob arena. Um, MA enable then a specific arena, so you can we can uh, disable specific arenas. So say me and Sam made the better one, which isn't just sand. You know, there's a few obstacles, a few traps, a few bits to help players. And we don't want this one anymore. We could even just delete it, or we could just disable it uh, with an admin command. Uh, you can enable and disable it, as I said. Uh, you can do MA force end, which forcefully ends all active arenas. And again, you can sp uh, refine that as well by putting the arena name after just to uh, refine into a single arena. Uh, as you can force end, you can force start. So if we wanted to force something to start when all the players aren't being ready, which is always an occurrence I see with Mob Arena, there's always one person who never readies up. <laughs> <laughs> And you can do MA yeah. not ready in the arena, which is uh, just a better command than, uh, well, the same one as the player one, really. Uh, oh, you can specify yeah, 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 yeah. arena. Uh, you can do MA restore then player, so you can restore the inventory of the player within the given name. That makes no sense. <laughs> so, yeah, just restore the inventory of the player. And finally, you can do MA config reload, which, as it says, just reloads the config if you change some of it. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot. Nice. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to quickly go over any setup commands I didn't go over. I went over most of them. The only things I didn't go over is, is MA protect. Oh, nice. So MA protect uh, default true or false. And all that does is just sets the toggle protection of the arena. Um, the same syntax as MA edit arena. And it just allows players to edit or destroy the thing if you don't want them to. Obviously, protect it is always a good idea. Uh, just a bit more about the containers. You have MA containers to uh, the list, and it's just obviously one just chest. And to delete it, just do MA container, and then the container name uh, to do that. And finally, we we have the auto generate. Uh, new arenas with a given name um, and we can do that so let's go to another area over here and we can do MA auto generate generate defaults uh, let's call it arena and what I'll do if it does it work is it working? Oh, okay, now it's finally generated. Wow, okay. uh, unfortunately, I did it wrong. <laughs> so, which nice. is good because I get to show you the new command, which is ma <laughs> auto degenerate arena, and that will oh, it's a bit degenerate slow, it. it. will. Yeah, unfortunately, it's a bit slow. So let's just go up in the air a bit. And, uh, game mode. Uh, let's do the other one again, and this just has a default sort of thing. So you can either create your own, of course, mm. but if you're lazy, we can oh, damage we that eventually. The lovely arena of uh, sand. And then we can just join it by doing MA Arena, or whatever you call it, or MA Join Arena. So there we go. Would you like to join it down? Uh, yeah, MAJ. Oh, MAJ Arena. Oh, there we go. Oh, what should I play this time? And then you can just simply... Mm. I'm gonna chemist. Do it as you were. Oh, I've got so many potions. Oh, let's, this that. let's go. Let's go. Oh no, I'm gonna be that guy that doesn't that doesn't ready up. No jokes. Let's go. <laughs> if you were. <laughs> oh, I've got thirty potions of harming. Let's go. Oh, Actually, that heals them, doesn't it? I forgot about that. What? Uh, potions of harming heal mobs. Yeah. Really? Like the evil ones. Oh. That's useful. I oh, know it might have been changed. Has it been changed? Oh no, okay, it's been changed. It always used to. Yeah, it does harm them. Yeah. I was going to make sure I don't Poison. harm myself with this. Oh, blimey, I got thrown up into the there. Healing. Healing. Swiftness. Use swiftness. Oh, are you a chemist as well? Oh, you are. I like yeah. your gold armor. She doesn't like your gold armor. <laughs> this stone sword is good. Oh, we are so bad. So bad. So bad. <laughs> I, just, I just used all of my inspirations up. Yeah. Oh, I've poisoned myself. Lovely. Have you? Ah, oh, nice. Oh, oh blazes. No. 
<laughs> you just spam the regeneration. Just, just, just spam the thing. We are so floor. bad. Oh, this is mental. Terrible. It's only I can't. Oh, can you imagine that like, wave fifty? I don't even know how many waves there are, but it's just going to be horrendous. I, I think if you had a really big map, it would be quite good. Yeah, I imagine it'd be pretty cool. Potentially. Oh, <laughs> uh, lions! Oh, so many of them. Oh no! I heal myself. <laughs> I think you're gonna you're oh, gonna be gone soon, Sam. No, never. I'm just gonna do MA spectate. Just watch. MA spectator. Really. You're on the ceiling there. Oh, okay. The, the spectation, the spectation, spectators are the ceiling. Well, no. I think we uh, if we're gonna have people raging us doing so badly. Yeah. Well, what can we do? What can we do. What can we do? Okay. So I think that's yeah, that much covers it. There is. So thank you guys um, for watching. And I hope you've enjoyed yeah. the Mob Arena video. If you've got any suggestions yeah. for any other plugins you want us to cover, please do leave a comment. Uh, and that's it, really. Yep. Thanks, thanks for watching. It's been me, Sam Kier, and Tyrant Group Gaming. <laughs> see, see you later, guys. <laughs> uh, are you, oh, wait. You fin <laughs> I thought you were going to finish recording, kidding me. Hello everybody, um, now I'm just going to go over the installation and configuration for the Mob Arena plugin. So link as always will be in the description, uh, here you just have the page for all the features, how to get started, there's some videos there, um, you can hook into Mob Arena if you're a developer, some issues, to-do lists, some donations, and um, troubleshooting. And uh, I'll let you read that, but um, download link as always here. Download it, you should get mobarena.jar. Obviously, keep and then drag and drop this into your plugins directory. If I can even open it up, I've already done it. There we go. So, they're gonna load the server up. And hopefully, there we go. Mobarena, enabling Mobarena. Um, it's also say vault was not found. If you want to use um, economy rewards, then uh, you can have Vault installed and it will use that for economy rewards. Okay, so once that's done, it should create a new folder in Arena with the following um, folders and configurations. And that's what I'm going to be over today. So first let's load up config.yml. This is the main config that we're going to be looking at. And so let's start with this. Okay, so first of all, we have the global settings. There are not very few, many of them, but things are just like enabling the plugin to true or false. Uh, allow command, so the allow commands are the lists that when people in the, the, the lobby or the arena, these are the commands they can use, so they can use plugin list and list. Um, so you can add them there and add like um, sub commands there as well. So for instance, we have slash who, for instance. Uh, update notifications, so if there is an update for Mobarena, all ops will be sent, oh there's an update for Mobarena, you should update. If you don't want this enabled then you can set this to false. Next we have the classes. So you saw in game that we are able to select classes and then play as them. We got a certain amount of um, items and armor and uh, we were given these sort of things. So you can create as many as you like. Uh, here's the default ones, knight, tank, archer, chemist and odd job. Um, here we have knight for instance. The items that are given are diamond sword, uh, a potion with a data value and armor uh, which is diamond armor. So the way to do this is just simply, right, let's, the easiest way is just to copy and paste the original existing one. Uh, make sure you've got all the spacing right. Uh, let's just call it, let's recall it, I don't know month or something and we can give them different things so we give them a wooden sword for instance so wood sword uh, let's go away uh, they've got at the moment diamond armor but we can change that to say um, leather armor just by copy and pasting the archer because we know he has the and they're the uh, IDs for the armor and we can give him another uh, item for instance um, I'm not sure. We can give him a bone, for instance, um, and then we can decide how many 
of these bones he wants to get. So let's say 10. I shouldn't save. Why am I saving? So we can give him 10 bones like that. And that's basically how it works. So you have the the name, we can use the data value, um, and then how amount of it. Um, it's recommended in the wiki, which I will link in the description, to use the uh, data values because then you're less prone to type in the ID wrong as opposed to the, say you could put wooden sword instead of wood sword for instance and it may ever there. Okay, so that's how that works. Uh, okay, now we're gonna move on to the arenas. So, these are the different types of arenas. We've got one called default, and I believe we should have one called arena. So, these arenas you can create in game, and here will be all the settings for them. So, you might have a slight issue with your default one if you're using it in a for instance another world you might need to update your world here like we did um, but that should be fine and that's how you do it so I'm just going to go over all the settings for the arenas hopefully it shouldn't be too bad okay so first of all of course world just the name of the world uh, enabled and protect so whether or not you want the enable people to be able to play the arena whether or not you want to be able to destroy the arena the entry fee so this is the amount or you can actually have items as well um, if you have vault installed of course um, you can use money so for instance I can have dollar 10 and that would charge them 10 or I could use um, an item or I could use both in fact uh, for instance I can have one uh, one stone block for instance I should stop saving okay you then got clear wave bonus next clear boss before next and clear wave before boss so if these are true then no monsters will spawn before all the monsters have been killed. So you notice in game that the new waves are starting before we've killed all those mobs. So if you don't want this, you want the waves to end and start when you've killed all of them, then I would set these to true. Uh, the lightning, if you set this to true, every spawn point will be struck by lightning uh, when something is spawned. Auto equip armor, when you're given a class, you auto equip the armor. You set this to true or false. Soft restore and soft restore drops. So if this is true, all blocks destroyed will be saved in a repair list, which will be used to restore blocks at arena end. Uh, and then you've got the drop ones as well, which is block destroyed by players will drop as items as they normally do. So you can destroy blocks, such as using uh, a tool for instance. Um, so you can basically allow people to destroy the arena and make forts and all sorts of things. So that could be a cool idea. Uh, require empty inventory to join, so then uh, you want to be able to just join uh, willy nilly, or their inventories can be saved as well. Uh, and then require inventory inventory spec, so we are not the spectators to have an inventory uh, empty. Hellhounds, so if this is true, all the pet walls in the arena will be in flames. Uh, it's kind of cool to look at. Uh, that's just purely aesthetic. Um, it doesn't actually do anything. Um, actually, like, it doesn't make them stronger or anything. PvP enabled, pretty self strategy. True or false, we're not players to attack other players. Monsters in fight. So, monsters will no longer take damage from each other as well. So, if it's the true, creepers won't obviously kill uh, the other mobs. Allow teleporting. So, if this is false, all warping to and from the arena region is blocked. So this is um, useful if you don't want players to teleport to them or help out their friends or something. So it's good to stop all teleportation like that. Spectate on death. So as soon as the player died, they are kicked from the arena, essentially. Um, but instead of that, you can just make them uh, spectate, which is a cool idea. Auto respawn true. Um, if you don't want them to uh, if you set this to false, basically they'll die and they'll see the death screen in Minecraft um, and it'll say respawn and stuff. But if it's um, fell, uh, true, like we have, it will just, when you get close to death, it will basically teleport you away from it. Um, so 
things like MCMO and Heroes, you might want the player to actually physically die. So you can set this to true or false depending on whether or not you have those sort of things. Uh, share items in Arena basically allows players to drop uh, items. The minimum and maximum players, so the minimum amount of players that can play, the maximum, um, and so on. Uh, max join distance. So this is the maximum distance in blocks that players can join or spectate um, from if they want to join an arena. So that's, you have to be near it. That would be a cool idea if you have to physically walk to the arena to be able to play it. Um, zero just means any distance. Uh, first wave delay. This is just delay in seconds until the arena starts. And then you've got the wave interval, so the nine seconds between each um, wave. Um, okay. And then the final wave is the number of final waves before the arena is uh, force ended. Um, this is if you just want 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 an infinite number of waves, then uh, set this to a finite limit. And then you got the monster limit, which is the maximum monster monster of mobs that can be in a wave. And then whether or not you want monsters to drop XP or not, because of course you can easily get a lot of XP, so it might not be the best idea to set this to true but you can have it there or you can set the XP to be true but um, set the keep XP to false so players don't get their XP after this could be useful, you could have like an enchantment table in the arena and um, players can enchant their things whilst they're there but they won't be able to obviously take their experience back uh, food regen, so if you don't want people to uh, need the required food as much and then you've got locked food level as well, so they forget they don't want food at all. Uh, spout class select as well, so you can select. Uh, I'm not sure if this still works. I don't. I don't think it does. Um, but I think you can have something with spout, which allows you to select a class. I'm not too sure about that one. Uh, player time in arena, so you can have the world name there. Uh, auto ignite TNT, so when you place TNT, it auto ignite useful for the uh, the odd job, isn't it? I think. Uh, auto start timer, and then use class chests as well. True or false? Um, it's up to you. Okay. Um, okay. So now let's go on to the waves. So the waves work. Um, there's different sorts of branches of waves. Uh, to start off with, we'll talk about the modules actually. So the two sort of modules or branches, recurrent and single. The recurrent waves occur uh, basically more than once, um, they repeat and they have a frequency of how often they repeat and so on. And single waves just occur once on the given wave number they are. So here we have the recurrent waves, so these are just the ones that happen uh, all the time basically. Uh, so you have def1 and spec1. Uh, def1 is just a default sort of one and spec1 is special. Uh, and then you've got the single waves, so you've got sport, swan1 and boss1. So let's talk about what these uh, the waves types do. Okay, so you've got different wave types. Uh, these range from default, special, swarm, supply, upgrade, and boss. Uh, there is some information about the wave types. So, default waves just spawn monsters, basically. You have the monsters here. You have the list of them. Um, and then you just have the probability of one spawning. So, you've got zombies, skeletons, spiders, creepers. These are just the you know the general stuff. You've got special waves as well so these are basically special types of monsters um, and they have a fixed amount of uh, monsters that they spawn so here we have uh, powered creepers, zombie pigmen, angry wolves and blazes you'll notice that these are generally more um, you notice in the game we played these uh, special waves and they had the blazes a lot uh, and the zombie pigmen um, but these are your basically different waves they, they're they very similar to the monster ones you just have um, obviously special monsters spawning instead 
uh, swarm waves. So this will just spawn one type of monster. So you've only got, instead of a list, you've only got one. So in this form, it's slime. Um, and the swarm wave will only have one health point. So you notice if you hit the slime, it will die in one shot. However, there'll be a lot more of them. So it'll just spawn tons and tons of them. Um, and there you go. So at the moment, the swarm of slimes only has amount of low. So this is how many monsters you want to spawn. You've got a choice of very low, low, medium, high, very high, and psycho. Um, psycho obviously being the maximum amount you can spawn. Uh, and we've also got supply waves. It's not on this. But basically this will just drop. Um, well, it will spawn one monster per player. And when you kill it, it will drop the... Uh, drops and drops as specified and um, you can just have any item there which could be useful for like food waves and you could have that as a single wave wait so you got to wave like 10 um, it would drop a supply of say some food um, or some health potions or something just to keep the players going which is a good idea you've also got upgrade waves so upgrades waves similar work to drops um, but each player will be given customizable items um, when they upgrade. So, for instance, um, if you have a class, uh, you can specify which classes in the wave get an upgrade and what they actually get. So, for instance, you can have the archer could get more arrows, the knight could get a new sword, and you can also specify an item that everyone gets. So for instance, that they can get food or a potion um, as well. Uh, and then finally, we've got the boss wave. We've actually got an example of this one. So we've got the type boss here. Uh, this also spawns one monster, but you can have a special ability of this monster um, and more health and stuff like that. And it will have the basically much harder to destroy so you can specify the health so we can have from very low low medium high very high and psycho um, you can also have a value so we can have like 40 or 80 or 100 or a thousand if you really wanted to but obviously um, the higher the number the longer it's going to take uh, you've got the monster type so okay so we didn't actually get to the boss round unfortunately uh, so we couldn't actually show you and then finally we have the abilities. Now abilities are on the wiki which I will provide a link to the description. But as you can see it has arrows, root target and throw nearby. So these are the abilities that um, the boss has. The arrows ability basically allows us to shoot arrows. The root target will lock on the target um, in place for a couple of seconds so you can't move. Uh, throw nearby will throw all nearby players uh, within a radius up in the air and there's many more you can use on the, the uh, wiki such as living bomb so a random player is set on fire and then explodes after three seconds um, stuff like that so pool nearby for instance warps all by players to the boss and you can add that uh, you've also got ability to announce so it'll announce when the uh, um, abilities are being used and then you've got ability interval, so the time between each ability. The default is 3 seconds. Okay, so that's the ways. You can add as many as them you like. Uh, the single ways are useful if you want to customize each individual ways, like from 1 to uh, however many you define. But if you just want generic sort of ways to pass the time before you get the single ways, uh, then the recurrent ones are good to have. Okay. Uh, we have the rewards so the rewards are just what you get for completing each wave so for instance on completing every three waves you get a feather bone or stick every five waves dirt gravel or stone every ten an iron ingot gold ingot and as you get higher you can see that um, you get more and more uh, or better items basically and you can add these, change these, and these are the items you get after you completed it. 
the class limits. So, for instance, you might have a good class, like a sniper class, for instance, uh, but you only want one player to be them. You don't want everyone to be snipers, or you don't want everyone to be healers or something. Uh, the way you can just do this is just by changing the limit here. So we can change archer, for instance, with one, uh, and then we can change those there, and then they'll only allow a certain number of people to have um, that class. And of course, setting it to minus one will allow as many as you like. Finally, we have the coordinates. So you shouldn't technically have to change these. Uh, you should just change these in game. But you have the two points of the arena, uh, the extra arena spawn, uh, spectator spawn, lobby spawn, uh, spawn points of the mobs, and any containers it has there as well. And then we have another arena. So this is the second arena we made um, in game. And that is all the information there. So that is that. Uh, we have announcement properties as well. Basically, this is just all the uh, announcement in game stuff. So, if you want to change the language of any announcements, you can easily change it there. Uh, we have the abilities, AG backup, and inventories. AG backup just stores all the uh, arenas. Uh, shouldn't have to worry about that. And again, inventory stores all the inventories when players are in arenas. And then abilities. Uh, these are all the abilities that um, the bosses can use. I talked about. There we got the living bomb stuff there. Um, you shouldn't have to worry about that unless you know what you're doing. Uh, obviously, you can add new abilities with the right class file, but um, I'm sure you wouldn't be watching this tutorial. Well, you maybe you will, but if you'd like to know more about that, there is some information about dev and how to hook onto it on the uh, on the main page. There you go. So um, I believe that is it. So thanks for watching. This has been me, Sam Pure. Ooh, gaming signing out. Do it will change your armor to the color you are standing in front of. So we've got all our walls here. I can stand in front of.